Hi guys, it's your girl Sydney. I have filmed this intro far too many times, but I'm actually gonna stick with this one. So, I've already started my makeup and everything, but it's fine. Um, I'm drinking some coffee in a Rudy's cup. Click the like button if you're happy about having another video from me. Today we're gonna just talk about dating, being in the adult industry, OnlyFans, all that jazz, and um, I have a little disclaimer. Before this video, we are gonna be talking about that, so if you're under the age of 18, maybe just get off of this video. It's not really geared towards you, but um, I'm not gonna be saying anything inappropriate. I just like to be very clear what I'm going to be talking about, and then um, I am on some dating apps. So there has always been catfishes. I get on and off dating apps. Probably after this video, I'll be off of it again. I love love i definitely do so if you see me on there and it's a verified profile you can genuinely tell it's me i will never ask you for money so just know if someone asks you for money it's 100 percent not me so i am on dating apps for anyone that has seen me i've gone on a couple dates recently been kind of fun and some of them have been kind of horrible because these people have bad personalities but yeah i've had a couple good ones and then ones that were like great and nothing came of it so Dating's always fun. Yeah, I don't know. People show their true colors on there so quick. Bumble's a little bit complex for me. I don't really like having to message first, but right now, if you see me on there, it genuinely probably is me, but also make sure the pictures look recent and not catfishy. And make sure the bio seems kind of like my personality. So, um, and both of my profiles are verified. So like, I like don't like being on apps because I feel like you, you base it upon looks and then learn their personality and not this past guy I dated but the one before that he was super attractive you guys so attractive horrible person and i really want to stay away from getting into another relationship like that which is why i think dating apps are kind of bad because you know people don't show you their true colors until much later on and then add into the mix my job and suddenly we're just like the pickings are small and they might be good looking but they don't always like have a great personality or they might be someone I'm, I'm attracted to but like they aren't down for my job so it's like you know and then having the conversation with people about my job is just extra fun but also so stressful anxiety ridden you get judged and then other times the guys are like oh so that means you want to do a, a three-way and I'm like that's not what I'm saying here, buddy. What I really want in a partner is very different than what I thought I wanted when I was, you know, 17. Like, um, my birthday just passed. In case you didn't know, I'm a Leo. I realize now what I thought I wanted at a young age is so different than what I want now. Like, I want someone who is thoughtful, intelligent. I want to find them attractive, but I don't care about looks the way I care about personality. I'm definitely pansexual, and I would date a woman, a man, non-binary, trans, like anyone. Because whoever I'm attracted to I'm attracted to. I also want someone that's kind-hearted, wants children, friends and family that I should definitely date older, not younger, or not younger anyway, but uh, like a little bit older than my age, just because they usually are more like, have lived life, they're not as crazy and party, like I'm not a huge party girl, so like that's another thing about me that makes dating a little hard. I'm not trying to go to the bars and stuff. That does change the dynamic, you know? I probably will be off this app, like I said before, I even post this video knowing myself. I don't think I've had a toxic relationship. I've definitely been in an abusive one. Some people might consider abusive toxic, but the thing is it wasn't like toxic in the way that people usually consider toxic, if that makes sense. So I have a lot of trust issues and I feel like I want someone that I know has my back and, ha and then I can have theirs and we have each other's best interests at heart. Like the last guy that I dated, I definitely felt that way about him. He was a great guy, just wasn't the one for me. And um, he showed me a lot of things about myself. He wasn't trying to ever belittle me. And I think that like really made me realize like, I want someone that treats me as an equal. I also want someone who's ambitious and has their own goals, has their own job that they love and isn't over here envying that I do OnlyFans and that I'm in school and that I'm like doing this, that, and the other, you know? Like I want, I want someone that is happy with their life going into a relationship. I think this is the other thing I didn't mention yet. I wanna build a foundation with someone. I want someone to know my favorite color. I want them to know my favorite food. I want them to pay attention to my Starbucks order, which sounds really silly, but like in past relationships, these people have not paid attention to those things. It's like, I don't like gifts. Like my love language is based on quality time first, acts of service second, third is words of affirmation, fourth is physical touch, and then fifth is gifts, okay? If that tells you how important gifts are, gifts are zero percent when I took that love language test. And if you have not taken it, you definitely should because it, it really was insightful to me. I think for me, it's just them knowing me 
and and having built a foundation and not just rushing anything care about what's on the inside rather than what's on the outside like obviously i want to be attracted to the person that doesn't mean that they have to be the gq model in the room you know like i find what i find attractive a lot of people are like that's interesting type you have and i'm like mm, yeah also the palette that i'm using for my eyes is called the tati beauty palette i also did go out with this firefighter you guys and let me tell you that date was honestly very interesting we went bowling i had tequila shots with him don't do that ever on a date then you'll say stuff you definitely don't mean so lesson learned there that's why i don't go on dates because i make mistakes like that and i say st i guess it wasn't a mistake it was just a learning experience but it was so funny because i was like thinking about everything i said the next day and i was like oh my gosh i was like dear dear sydney learn your lesson this is my makeup i hope you enjoyed hearing me talk I'm hoping I get my new glasses in very soon. I'll show you my outfit too. I'll sit you down. Whoa. And I know you guys sometimes do like these unedited raw videos. So this is my outfit. I think it's cute. I feel like I'm like a lot more chill in my YouTube videos compared to before. I feel like I just kind of turn on the camera. Just want to talk to you. Vera says hi right there. You say hi to the camera. This is my makeup. Is that a better view you like my my brows outfit and then i use the tati beauty palette for that so hopefully that is helpful but i love you guys so much i'm gonna actually Say that again i love you guys so much this is the end of the video i'm just gonna try to make more if you guys have any video ideas put them down below in the comments and yeah if you want to wish me a happy belated birthday you can comment that down below too um mwah, i hope you're doing well just know the universe is conspiring for your happiness and you're worth everything in the world that you want and you just sometimes have to just go out and grab it so mwah, mwah, mwah. love you lots